How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Evil Within 2. In our last episode, uh, we went through the marrow, and we found ourselves in a new location, a new open location, and we learned a little bit more about Sebastian in the Juke Diner. Just a little bit more. Uh, there's just one more piece, and it does unlock a substantial story part of this game. Anyway... We're going to go ahead and skip all of these supply locations because we don't need them. We're going to do a nice little save over there, too. And we're going to sprint. We're going to do a lot of sprinting because screw it. Screw it! I said screw it! Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, for a second there, I thought I wasn't going to make it. I'm going to grab these bottles and a nice little journal. Barkeep's Journal, the final entry in this well-worn journal. Journal? Jur journal. Can't talk still. Uh, the taproom's been booming. Business is good. Lots of new faces in Union these days. They're arriving by the train load, and they're thirsty. If it keeps up like this, I'll finally be able to afford some beer taps. Pete complains about the crowds, but I say the more the merrier. He's been... I'm going to mispronounce that, so I'm just going to skip it. But lately, he's been acting extra weird. Uh, he sits there in his usual spot, giving new customers the stink eye and mumbling to himself. I wonder... I would cut him off, but he's always been my best customer. It's like a rumbling... Oh, yeah. Whenever she's close by, your controller will just rumble like crazy. Unless you're on PC and use a mouse and keyboard, that's... It's probably not going to happen. All right. So this is his art? It's just a photo. Now to appreciate it. I'm going to stab the shit out of you. <laughs> I love his response there. So it looks like we need a key. Just gonna write down this hall. But you shall be part of my obscura. than clay. Softer than marble, it really is the perfect medium. Oh, I can't concentrate like this. A sculpture doesn't need a tongue. Probably one of the most messed up characters in video games, period. Actually, in... In... Anything. Okay. Whoa. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Looks like we got some of these guys over here. Where are you guys going? One to the left, two to the left. Let's do this then. Just gonna have to do a little bit of sneaky sneaks, but if not, then we're just gonna go boomstick crazy. to come I have to be at a specific distance. And shank! Get that brain juice. It looks like we got an axe, so we can use the axe. That we shall do. 
Now, of course, in the harder difficulties, just like before, you are going to have a lot more dudes. I want to say about two more. One regular, or two more regular ones. What's that noise? Uh, and you're also going to have that crazy white witch that sprints at you with a knife that you have to stab twice. Stab two or three times, but of course the stab and an axe works too. I don't recall in the harder difficulties because I avoided them as much as I could. Do you want to come here? Maybe? I feel like something's going to see me here, but... Screw it. So that guy's over there. Somebody's by the gate. They're both preoccupied. This is good. Now, here's the thing. The guy by the gate is already moving. So if you come right over here... Yeah, that works too. Shank. Didn't even have to axe anybody. Oh, whoa, there's a face on her back. That's weird. Okay, anyway. We got the key, we are good to go. So let us get out of here. We're just gonna have us walking there. We can't sprint. Aim. Yeah, we can still do that. Alright, that's that's fine. We have to appreciate this thing. It's beauty. Well, there it is. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been too easy, right? I think we can go in this way. No, we can't. Screw that. Go on the other way. Go under you. I feel like I'm gonna like hit my head on this thing too. Okay. Okay. I have actually died here before. Um okay, I think on Nightmare. Man. Hope you're right about destroying these things. Here we go. Thank goodness not on classic, because that would have annoyed me too, because at this point I would not have saved either. Yay! Destroying that freak's work was actually therapeutic, but I'm not done yet. One more. Away from me. Sounds like someone's in trouble. All right, guys. Uh, so what happened was, and why I'm here in the middle of the road. My recording ended up getting deleted, and uh, I do apologize for that. So what I ended up doing, very similar to what I did before in my uh, Evil Within 1 Let's Play, I loaded up one of my older saves. I do have infinite ammo unlocked here, uh, but that's just to get through this part faster. Uh, the part where I did lose up to was completing the next objective, but I also lost a very important part, in which is right over here for meeting the final team member of Mobius. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to go guns blazing, treat it like an FPS, and uh, just go through that story part all the way up until I have my next video set up. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and continue to help this guy out right over here. Wow, I am not good at this. There we go. Hey, hey, you over there! You gotta help me! Come on, man! I know you can hear me! Help me out! <laughs> Alright, let's 
let's go ahead and help this guy out here. And we're going to go ahead and use the shotgun here too. Oh. Now I am just going to keep it limited to what I have currently in my game. Kind of sad too because I had this awesome play about taking these guys out on my other original playthrough, but unfortunately, recording was deleted. You just saved my ass. I didn't think anyone would come. You're from the search team. How did you end up here? I was looking for something. And what would that be? Look, it's dangerous out here. Come to my safe house so we can talk. Lead the way. Come on. I'm moving. There we go. Come on in. They can't get in here. Thanks again for helping me out. I'm Sykes. Sebastian Castellanos. Castellanos, huh? I've heard of you. You survived the Beacon incident, right? How do you know that? I'm a STEM programmer, but I've got other skills too, like hacking information systems. I know all kinds of things that nobody else knows, not even other members of the team. Then you know who Lily is. Yeah, we're all trying to find her. Haven't had any luck though. That's why you're here, huh? That's right. But if you can't help me with that, then we've got nothing else to discuss. Good luck. Hey, hold on. We might still be able to help each other out. This better be good. Look, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you could probably use. And you can have it for saving me out there. You want to hear my proposal? Come on back to me. All right, I'm all ears. How can we help each other? I need you to restore the server inside the mirror. It should be easy enough as long as none of those freaks are around. Here's where it's located. Hold on, I haven't agreed to anything yet. What's in it for me? You do that for me, I can open up all the locked supply caches for you. And what's in it for you? If you get the server on, I may be able to find another way out of Union. There's really a way to get out of Union? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it a try. They've lost contact with STEM. We're totally cut off. If we don't find the core, we're all gonna die in here. Unless I can figure a way out. How is that possible? You really want me to waste your time talking a bunch of technical gibberish? All I have to do is turn it on. How did the server go offline in the first place? All I'm saying is if you turn on that server, I can give it a shot. Look at this place. It's breaking apart out there. I'm surprised anything is working. But then again, Mobius probably turned it off themselves. They've got all kinds of emergency protocols in place. And you're questioning the almighty Mobius? Hey, I don't mind being a grunt. The moment I become expendable, well, that's when I start to look for the exit door. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. So, you gonna help me out or not? All right, this starts the side quest, getting back online. But, before we go ahead and do that, uh-oh. Before we go ahead and do that, we're actually gonna go down this direction here. And I don't like that sound. And we're going to go find the second painting. We have to do a tiny bit of maneuvering, but it's okay. It's just right around the corner here, too, so we're good to go. Now, there is quite a bit of loot, too. Um, so that you can kind of see around here. I'm just going to go ahead and skip it for now, just so that way I can get to my recordings, uh, to continue my recordings 
uh, a lot faster. But here we go. We found the painting. This, this is art. It's just a photo. I'm going to stab the shit out of you. Love that dialogue. And we meet with a familiar friend. But we're going to continue here. Now, what we're also going to do, and what I did in the other one too, was prepare these bolts. There we go. I'm, I'm honestly trying to be spoiler free, but it's kind of difficult going through my weapons. Um, you again. And so I do recall the way that she runs after you, so... Ended up just throwing that down over there. And this one right up over here. Just two, so that way it's easier. And I was able to shoot two of these in my playthrough as well. So, go see what I could do to replicate what I did. All right. Up to the this final point. Close to that art. Oh, and it looks like she Maybe was... Sneak by it. That is not good. <laughs> that did not happen. This is happening just a tad bit differently than expected. You can already hear her behind me. And smashing that X button. <laughs> there we go. Made it. See ya. Hopefully I'm done with those things for a while. Anyway, and this is where I'm going to go ahead and continue with my recordings. It was honestly just this little bit that I missed out on, and I do apologize. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and head back to the Let's Play. All right, so continuing where we left off. I am so sorry, guys, that my game crashed. We're just going to go ahead and continue here. Nice. So, I think we can actually just go this way. Yes. Um, okay, we're low enough. Easy enough. Boop. Now we can enter the theater, but we're actually going to go ahead and skip that for now. Uh, the reason for that is because... That's both of them. Should have done the trick. Better head back to the theater and see if I can get in. Uh, that is because we're going to finish Sykes' uh, side mission. Because one, he's going to give us some good guns. And two, it does help out a lot. Her. Now there is a nice little shortcut if we just go right through here. Ooh, well, we can get a nice little item here too. But we also do have to deal with that. Oh my gosh, okay. I think I'm doing this. I think I'm doing it. Never tried this before, but I think this is gonna be good. I think this is gonna be good. Bam! What are you gonna do? Oh my gosh, she comes up here. You have so much health. Why do you have so much health? You can see why the axe is great here. But now we have to deal with another one. That was my bad. I thought... I thought we could do that. 
Uh, shotgun ammo. That's good. Especially since we missed quite a few in the beginning, but I think we're good to go now. Uh, do I want to try that again? I kind of want to. Let's go! Let's go. Hello. Really? Did you lose track of me already? There's only one direction. Get wrecked. Whoa! I am now dying. <laughs> Worth it. So yes, she uh, sucks to deal with. Let's go ahead and use this thing. <laughs> and we're good to go. Uh, so you can kind of see why I avoided her, especially in the harder difficulties, as much as possible. But this is the fastest way to get back. And there's a nice little statue here that I think we're going to skip because I don't want to deal with it right now. Yes, I do. What am I talking about? Only because there's so many enemies over there. I'm going to have a train behind me. So I'm going to hold on to this, just in case. But from here, we're actually going to just head back into the safe house. Not Sykes' safe house, although we could honestly do that. We're actually going to go towards the Marrow. Since that's where we need to go for his side quest. in here and we should be good to go. That is a safe spot. We do not need that right now. What we need... Oh, is there a drawer? Nope. What we need to do is go back into the marrow. Oh, okay, so it still loads. Oh, let's just top off on our... No, we're going to drink coffee to top off on health. We should be good to go. Type, 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 type. Now that we're back here, let's see where we need to go. Looks like the top corner right over here, get back online, it will do. Bring a nice little pistola with us. Uh, oh, we got a nice little report. Core candidates. All concerned operative Gr Grisham? Grisham. Lily Castellano's initial findings. The ideal core candidate must have unfettered ego in order to retain their own personality while supporting the interlinked minds of many others. Given these parameters, there are only two possible candidates, egomaniacs with psychopathic tendencies or children. We all know what happened the last time egomaniac with a psychopathic tendencies was in STEM, so a child is our best bet. Having access to standardized school test results, we were able to narrow down our options. We feel that we found an ideal core candidate in Lily Castellanos. Her tests show that she not only has a gillianist gallus ego, she also exhibits incredibly advanced empathy for a child her age. Uh, we are sending her to Dr. Hoffman for further testing. Yay! So we find out a little bit more about Lily. We're going to skip on the coffee for now, and we're just going to 
I'm just gonna leave. She'll be fine. We already went through that door. We're just gonna head back. There's gonna be a couple of items that we get to pick up too. It's gonna be great. Fantastic. And now all that white goo is gone. So we're safe. Can we open that door? No. Unfortunately. Let's just see how much ammo we got. It's too dark and too quiet. I don't like it. This is the room here. Let's just see any other supplies. We got bottles and that. Seems like that worked. Ah, and now I I go back they're online. Sykes. So on our way back to Sykes, we can actually just open all these up. Got shotgun bullets here, which I may even use. What up? Oh, you had an axe. You know what that means. You have an axe. Yes. It's just raining axes. Wait, where's the other axe? Is it inside? Oh. Okay. That sucks. Oh well. I was just gonna go on an axe frenzy. That's okay. Yes. Now we got enemies. We're just gonna kill them all. I was gonna kill him. Wow, that was bad. Take that brain juice, though. Where's that dude with the axe? He's all the way on the other side, but she... It's free. Oh, man, I could actually be stealth. Let's just go over here. Oh, we got another dude. Oh, she's there! And I used it on her. That was my bad. That was not supposed to happen. Wait, no. Back off. <laughs> Sir. That was bad because we got something even worse to deal with now. And we don't have an axe. I think you know exactly who and or what it is. Let's go ahead and heal up though. That works. What bolt can we use? Explosive. I... I literally selected explosives. You did all but the explosives. There we go. I thought I did anyway. Yup. There she is. Yes, this is worth it. Yeah! That was glitchy and weird, but it was fun. That was fun. I approve of that. 
What else we got? Nothing. All right, everything's online. We are good to go. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is first we're going to go ahead and check out that rooftop. And then um, we're going to go... Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to go straight to Sykes. We're, we're just going to go straight to Sykes. And we are now back with Sykes. What up? The server is online. Yeah, I'm already in. I unlocked the supply containers just like I promised. See if you can open that one there. Pick up some weapon parts. And we now have a silenced handgun. Uh, now, I do believe that this is a weaker weapon. But it is silenced. So that does help out just a little bit. So I think we're just going to go ahead and hold on to the laser sight for now. Alright. Anyway, we are going to go ahead and bust in through this mirror. And watch a couple slides. The more recent ones that we did earn. Kitty! I missed you. Looks like we got two more. Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. The first time I saw Myra, she was wearing that uniform. I think I fell in love with her right then and there. I didn't want to admit it to myself, but after she was injured on duty, I knew I couldn't risk not telling her how I felt. She was such a great wife and mother that I sometimes forget she was a great detective, too. She was right. She knew there was something fishy about Lily's death. I, I mean, kidnapping. I should have believed her from the start. There's no way you could have predicted the truth, Sebastian. You know this. It's me, Kidman. Good to know you're still there, Sebastian. After Beacon, I tried to make some sense of what happened to me. But everyone said I was delusional. For hiding the truth, I started to believe that maybe they were right. That maybe I was crazy. I felt so frustrated. Useless. Drinking was the only thing that killed the pain. So much time wasted. I could have tried harder. Shit. Don't beat yourself up, Sebastian. When Mobius doesn't want to be found... Don't make excuses for me, Kidman. I fucked up. Look, Sebastian, this isn't the time to dwell on the past. This is the time to make up for it. Self-pity is what led you to drink in the first place. You have a chance to get back what you lost. Don't lose sight of that. Harsh. But true. You're right, Kidman. Thanks. Alrighty then. Now, Kidman is a funny character in this, because even after playing the DLC, you still don't know how you feel about her exactly. Okay. Thank you, Kitty. Anyway, I think now is a great place to stop this episode. I'm going to go ahead and just craft a couple of items, make a nice little quick save, and then I'll see you guys in the next episode.